I'm Lakeisha, owner of Sharp Designs by Lakeisha, an event planning and design company in Atlanta, Georgia. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I created my YouTube channel so that I can share with you guys some of my DIY projects that I do. As an event planner and designer, I'm always looking for ways to save me and my clients money. And today, I just kind of wanted to share with you guys one of my favorites, which is paper flowers. Welcome to my craft room. This is where it all goes down. Let's get started. Making paper flowers is very easy. All you need are four things. You need your templates, which I do sell. You're going to need your glue gun sticks. I have these big ones for my big glue gun. They have many ones if you have a small glue gun. You're going to need a pair of the scissors and hot glue gun. All right, so to get started, you're gonna start with your biggest petals. The more petals you have, the bigger. Um, this one has about seven petals, so it's gonna be probably a medium to large flower. So you wanna start off, to give it some definition, you just wanna curl the tip down. I normally do it with a lot of paper so that it doesn't bend, it rolls better. You let it loose and it curls. Then you want to take a few of them at a time, depending on how thick your paper is. I only use 65 pound paper. And you're going to do a slit up the middle. That's going to help elevate the petal off the ground. See, when you put it down here, it's flat. And when you bend it with the petal, it lifts up. So it's like a little flower. So I'm going to slit up these last two. I don't have a specific measurement or anything for cutting. Just kind of go with the flow. None of my petals are ever the same. So we can either do this one with the curl facing up or facing down. And that particular flower I showed you guys earlier is facing down. So we'll roll with that. You're going to take your petal and along the inner line, you're going to do a row of hot glue. And then for this last piece on the inside, you're going to put glue on both sides. And that's where we're going to place our final petal. And you have the outside of your flower. We didn't use the last petal for this one. As I said, they're never the same. Then we're going to move on to the next size petal. Let's see if we can cut them all at the same time. Right there. We're going to repeat the same thing, except this time we're going to be putting our glue on a different area. We're going to still put it on the inside of here, fold it down. And then for this part, you're going to put your glue on the butt of the flower. You're gonna glue it so that it's in between one of your petals you did earlier. I'm just gonna repeat that all the way around. to the next size. We're gonna do the same thing. And we'll just be repeating this with the remainder petals till she's all done.
when you get to the smaller ones, you'll have to do more than one layer of those. So you always want to have a lot of the smaller flowers for this flower. Probably have to do about four rows of the smaller ones. We'll see. smallest petals. a little more definition, glue the butt, that one there, and our last one, pull it as tight as we can in so it stands up a lot. There you have it. This is our finished product. Give it a try yourself, or if you don't want to, I do sell and make flowers and templates. You can email me at bylakeisha at gmail.com. I'm on Instagram as sharp designs by underscore Lakeisha. And I'm on Facebook at sharp designs by Lakeisha. And my website is sharp designs by Lakeisha.com.